This tutorial shows the use of the polyfit and polyvalve functions. The vectors T and Y represent the data that will be used in the following example. The polyfit function finds the coefficients of the best fit polynomial of a given order for the given data. The first input into the function polyfit is the vector t, representing the data on the x-axis. The second input into the function polyfit is the vector y, representing the data on the y-axis. The third input into the function polyfit specifies the order of the polynomial. The output from the function polyfit is a vector p1 that contains the coefficients of the polynomial in descending order as shown. This is the first order polynomial, the equation of the best fit straight line for the given data. Note that the variable p1 is the output from the polyfit and the equation represented is only shown for this explanation. The polyvalve function evaluates the polynomial p1 at the value t interest to produce the output y interest. This computation using the polynomial is shown here. The first input into the function polyval is the vector p1 created previously. The second input into the function polyval is the variable t interest that was defined as 1.5. The output y interest contains the value of the evaluated polynomial. The vector t interest is created as a sequence of numbers as shown. The polynomial p1 is evaluated over all the values in t interest to produce the output y interest which is shown. This computation using the polynomial is shown here. This graph represents the best fit first order polynomial as found for given data. The following polyfit function finds the coefficients of a polynomial of degree 2 that fits to the data t and y. The result of the polyfit function is a vector of three elements as shown. This is the second order polynomial, the equation of the best fit parabolic curve for the given data. The polyval function evaluates the polynomial P2 at the value T interest to produce the output Y interest. This computation using the polynomial is shown here. The output y interest contains the value of the evaluated polynomial. The vector t interest is created as a sequence of numbers as shown. The polynomial p2 is evaluated over all the values in t interest to produce the output y interest which is shown. This computation using the polynomial is shown here. This graph represents the best fit second order polynomial, a parabolic curve as found for given data. Thank you for using MATLAB Marina.